Well, I am so happy this came in the mail. And guess what? We are going to do a review of Chalk Zero. So we're going to tear into this package and see what they sent us. So we have some of their maple syrup, some of their um, keto bark, some milk chocolate, and oh my goodness, some chocolate chips, the white chocolate chips. So what should we tear into first? Um, huh, I'm thinking this dark chocolate. Yum. Let's tear into this and give it a taste. So, yep, we're going to do the keto bark. So, the bag has individual servings, which is perfect. You know, portion control. And let's see. Per serving, there is only 120 calories, 11 grams of fat. Total carbohydrates is 14. Dietary fibers is 12 and 1 gram of protein. So, all in all, not bad. Look, this is a nice size, too. Let's see this. Okay. Let's dig in. Okay. Broke a piece off it. <laughs> this is good. Okay, I will say this. You know how dark chocolate sometimes can have that aftertaste? This does not have an aftertaste whatsoever. It's really smooth. It's chocolate. I love it. Oh my God. So, yeah. Dark chocolate with sea salt. This one is a winner. Definite winner. What I am going to do is put their link below. And this was such perfect timing because I'm home today. It's a snow day. It's Monday. And I was just thinking, oh God, I want some chocolate. And when you know it, here comes the mailman delivering the package from Chalk Zero. Thank you, Chalk Zero. You have made my day today. So it is perfect timing because you guys know I'm getting ready for that procedure later on in the week. So I can have my chocolate now. This is really good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm -mm. And I got the little um the white chocolate too. Oh my god. These and the milk chocolate. So later to come, we'll be trying the rest of these. But this chocolate bark is bomb. Again, the link will be here. And I will work on getting a discount code for you guys. Because I know a lot of you love chocolate. Just as much as I do. Yum. I will be back. Well, I was thinking about going to work. I'm not sure. It's still a snow and it's a ton of ice. I think we're just going to go in and make some coffee and see what happens. You know, we're just going to get this day going. Um, it's still freezing outside. It is um, very icy. I'm hoping they come and de-ice our road and... Um, you know, clean it up a little bit, but we'll see. So we're going to start with some coffee. I'm going to start working from home. Hopefully things will clear up. Um, I did put a little bit of a breakfast together, but I might scramble some eggs. We'll see. Because as you guys know, tomorrow starts my prep for my um, procedure. 
I'm not looking forward to it, but it is what it is. So yeah, let's go ahead and get some um, coffee in the coffee pot and um, we will see what this day brings us. All righty guys, I will check back in in a few minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and start working and hopefully things will clear up. I know you guys can't really see this, but this is my backyard. My dog went out. It's still a ton of snow. I don't you can see that it is 28 degrees. It's freezing. So I'm going to bring him back in because he's been out here for like three minutes. He should have done his business already. Well, good morning, good morning. Um, it is a Wednesday. So I had started recording on yesterday and my phone decided to take a crap. Um, I had to get a new phone. We were able to salvage a lot from that phone, but my footage from earlier was not saved. So I'm gonna do my best to catch you up for Tuesday. So I stayed home on Tuesday. It was another snow day. Um, I actually um, was going to take you guys through my day. So we had breakfast together. It was just chaffles, um, bacon, and one um, hamburger patty and the chaffles. I kind of smothered them in a little bit of the um, chalk zero. Um, maple syrup, which is so good. Another thing about Chalk Zero, it is so amazing. I let someone taste it that's not as strict as I am, and could, they couldn't believe just how smooth the chocolate is, and how it tastes just like a regular chocolate candy bar, but it's actually healthy. So, I think for our house, Chalk Zero is going to be one of the, um, the go-to chocolates. So, um... So as you know, I'm getting started with the prep work for my um, procedure. It kind of starts today. Um, I do have my coffee. So um, you start three days prior and I'm going to look at my paperwork because I don't want to quote anything wrong. So I've got the handy dandy paperwork going here. Um, so I am to eat a low fiber diet starting today, which consists of chicken, turkey, fish, seafood, eggs, white bread, rolls, biscuits, plain crackers, white rice, dairy products like um, yogurt pudding or cheese, um, potatoes without the skin, low fiber cereals such as Rice Krispies, fruits without seeds or peels like applesauce and honeydew, cantaloupe, bananas, canned fruit. Um, only well cooked vegetables without skin, seeds, or peels. So that's for today. Um, tomorrow is the day that I actually have to drink that fluid to clean me out and I will be allowed clear liquids. So what they're considering clear liquids are things like light colored juice such as apple juice, white grape juice, white cranberry juice, um, light colored sodas and sports drinks, water, coffee, tea with no um, milk or cream, um, beef, chicken or vegetable broth, lemon popsicles and clear jellos like um, lemon um, lime and orange and stuff like that. So today being Wednesday and the low fiber day, I thought what I would do is I would go ahead and have some plain coffee with just a little bit of the skinny syrup in it. I will do eggs this morning with cheese. I will be drinking my bone broth throughout the day. And I did make some jello, some orange jello. I know technically it's yeah, dirty keto, or whatever, but 
for the purpose of doing this little exam. Um, and later on, I will fry up some more eggs and there will be no cheese in it. So tomorrow morning, I will start with the liquid phase of it. So I'm just going to take you guys through the day with me. So um, when I come back, I will um, show you guys what my first meal is looking like. Alrighty, I am back and here is my first meal. Like I said, it would be two eggs and some cheese. And I actually use the, um, the folio cheese wrap because it's lactose free. So I'm going to eat this and my next thing will be I want to get some water down and I'll start on my broth and I'll just update you guys as to what I'm doing. I will see you then. All right, guys, I am back, and this is just to let you know what I'm having at the moment. Okay. I got two fried eggs. Oops. And I have a cup of bone broth. So this is the bone broth that I am using. There's 40 calories per serving half a gram of fat, zero carbohydrates, and nine grams of protein. So I'm going to drink my broth, eat my eggs, and I will be back to show you guys how I'm going to finish up everything. All right, I am back and I've got yet another cup of my my um, bone broth and I also have some water so this is basically going to finish me off for the day if I get anything else more than likely be some jello because the jello isn't set yet um, but that's basically it for today because tomorrow starts nothing but the liquids so it'll be nothing but my bone broth and I'm having to drink the um, medication for the procedure Oh, you guys, my bad. I'm so sorry. I'm supposed to show you the keto room. This is my freaking messy keto room. So if you remember anything from maybe a video about, yeah, it's been a little over a year ago, it's still freaking messy. I still have stuff everywhere. So let's just do this. Um, I still got more cleaning to do, but the good part I have this cabinet and I have put some things in the cabinet. So let's get to it. So up here I have like my syrups and I have like some protein shakes and coffee. And this drawer I decided to put stuff like that was I'm going to say coffee kind of related and creamer. I do have a supplement in here too but Basically, this drawer is about me having my um, coffee stuff. So, like, all these are different creamers and nut pots, different flavors, and creamer, 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 creamers, bags of creamers. So, yeah, this drawer is all about coffee. Okay, this drawer here... It's going to be related to things that has to do with me baking. So like my different flours and stuff for baking. Um, my different nut flours and all of that. Ah, it even had a spice. I think maybe because it didn't fit with the rest of the spice stuff. I have to look into that. So everything that has to do with, you know, different types of, you know, flours and seeds and stuff like that. Okay, this is the stuffed drawer. So this has all my seasonings. And that other seasoning might can fit in there. I don't know. Seasonings and different stuff like my sugars and all that. So, uh-oh, that gets dark. But, um, yeah, it has a lot of my different sugars and spices on the seasonings. So this drawer is full of them. Okay, up here is all my books. 
So I have a ton of different books all the way from when I was paleo all the way up until now. A shit ton of books. So if you're in the market for a book, I probably have it and can send it to you. Okay, this is my rack. I haven't really finished categorizing it correctly because I removed stuff and put it in different little drawers. So I got to really pull this together. So it's just a lot of random things kind of just sitting here. And this is another little mini shelf with lots of little things on it. Not very categorized, but somewhat. And I have embarrassed to say a shit ton of stuff on my floor i just got to take out of packages and pull together and put somewhere so yeah my whole keto room it's a mess but it's a work in progress so i really thank you guys for following me on my journey please don't forget to comment below share the video give me a thumbs up and i will be back with another video and actually part two to this will be um included on saturday's video and down below would be the link for chalk zero so i'm going to say goodbye and i will talk with you guys later Mwah! have a wonderful rest of your day Hello.